welcome back. As you guys can tell, it is pretty much pouring out, and so my plans today of taking a bit of a detour. Fortunately for me, I got something in the mail. You probably can figure it out already. There's the chain. Here's the bar. Definitely a little bit longer than what I'm used to. And this is something I've been wanting to try for a while, and I finally went ahead and got it done. So, what we got here. What we've got here is this thing. I've actually never seen this in person before, so let's have a look at it. Well, I'm looking forward to trying this out. This is a little bit bigger of a saw than what I'm used to. What I've been using up to this point is a Husqvarna 555. The 555 is a 60cc saw. This right here is obviously a little bit bigger. This is the G372XP. Very similar to a Husqvarna 372 uh, at first appearance. And so that's what you might be, uh, might be thinking it is. But this one's made by Hulls Forma. Now, I in the past have used a Lewis winch. You've probably seen it if you've been around the channel before. My Lewis winch I use to pull trees, pull equipment, uh, get me out of a bind in many situations. That Lewis winch was hooked up to a Hulls Forma G660. So I have run the Hulls Forma before. That sort of got me into the uh, Hulls Forma and I thought, why not? I'll give this one a try. So we're gonna cut some big hardwood with it for some firewood. And before we get there though, Let's get the bar attached to this. And as I said before, I've never seen this in person. You guys can see there. What's uh, interesting about this one compared with my newer Husqvarna, my newer Husqvarna has an outbound clutch. Uh, this one has an inbound clutch, so that's what I'm first uh, first noticing here. This right here is a 28 inch bar, and so this is quite a bit bigger than what I'm used to. Uh, up until now, I've typically run about a 20 inch bar. I got a little bit bigger just so that I can cut the bigger material with it, the bigger, bigger firewood. This is a full chisel chain. If you guys have run one of these, I'd be interested to hear from you down in the comments. I have no experience with uh, this particular model at all. And so uh, I'd like to hear about it. Just before we head out to the woods though, to fire this up, let's just have a look at what we're dealing with. This uh, style of chainsaw, the uh, ergonomics is a little bit different than what I'm used to. As I said, the uh, Husky 555 I typically run. It's got a little bit different switch here. Doesn't have the high top. The filter, air filter is a little bit different. But uh, overall feels really good. It's definitely a longer bar than what I'm used to. The 20 inch, you really notice the difference. But feels like it's going to do some damage, that's for sure. And that's the whole whole goal here, so. We'll, uh, we'll put it into action here in a minute. I'll just have to remember how this works here. Choke, off switch, everything looks good. Yep, reminds me of 
many things I'm used to, so I think we'll be all right. Okay, there we have it. You guys get a good look. Okay, here we go. Well guys, if you haven't noticed already by the uh, swarm of black flies around me, they are out in full force. I do not like them, so I better work quickly. Anyone who's been in uh, central Ontario or northern Ontario or any other places that have them, you know exactly what I'm talking about. They make, make life a little miserable at times. All right, first fuel. As the black flies bite me inside of my ear, uh, in my eye. Oh gosh, that one stings. Okay, here we go, first start. Let's see how this one works. I believe that's choke. I think we're good there. There we go. Can't wait for that to bite me. Anyways, let's have a look at what we're going to be cutting here today. I just dragged uh, three logs out here. These are, uh, looks like birch here. We're going to cut them up. They're anywhere from 18 to, I think the biggest end here is like 23 inches, give or take. So we're going to cut these up. And in just a minute, I'm going to run the Mingo marker down this. That's that uh, tool you've seen me use before. Puts little spray paint marks on the logs so I can get an accurate cut. We're going to put that on here. Then we'll uh, fire that thing up after it warms up in just a minute and we'll see how it does. I'm really looking forward to this. As I said before, that's the Hall's Forma. That's a G372XP and that's got a 28 inch bar on it. Quite a bit bigger than what I'm used to. Full chisel chain, fresh out of the box. I haven't touched the chain at all. We'll see how it cuts. Here we go. A moment ago you guys saw me making the second cut or at least starting it I as I was cutting I paused for a moment and quickly realized that something was missing I was missing these guys right here these go on to the saw obviously before you start cutting I just forgot to do it because I didn't have a look inside the uh, inside the bag the saw came with so inside it you got your wrench two allen keys you can see we've got the bigger version of the dogs and then your uh, your smaller version I'm gonna use the bigger version here 
and we've got these two bolts here. Now these two bolts, you'll see uh, they go something like that and then they mount onto these two holes here. I'm gonna put a little bit of Loctite on there just because saws vibrate. Okay, let's cut.
Well guys, there we have it. If you're having a bad day, grab your power saw and head out to the uh, landing like I did. Run it through some hardwood, you'll feel much better. At the very least, you'll end up with some rounds you need to split. Now that saw there with the 28 inch bar is quite a bit different than what I'm used to. I'm used to my Husky 555 with a 20 inch bar. What I'm noticing with the 28 inch bar, it's quite a bit nicer here on a landing where all you're doing is standing in one spot more or less cutting rounds. If I was out in the bush and I had to sling around a longer bar, I might not like it as much, but here at the landing, the longer bar makes it so I don't have to lean over quite as much. And even though I typically use the mini excavator to lift up the logs, I'm finding with the logs on the ground with the longer bar, I don't even notice it on my back, which I normally would if I had a 20 inch bar cutting on the ground. So that's quite nice. Now that saw there, a little bit more powerful than my 555 Husky. That's a 71cc saw if I'm not mistaken. And uh, it definitely shows it because it's not bogging at all. Full chisel chain on there, 28 inch bar. When I'm in the hardwood there, it wasn't bogging, which can be the case periodically with my 555. So this saw will find its place here on the landing, I'm sure, just because it gets through the wood a little bit easier. My other saw, the 555, it's a good all around saw. I'll continue to cut down trees with it, use it out in the woods. This will be good here at the landing. So one thing I'm noticing between this saw and my Husky, my 555, is my 555 has the auto tune. And that almost is like an extra gear, especially when you're at full throttle. The odd time the RPMs just sort of shoot up on you. Whether that's a good or a bad thing, you can decide after you try it. This thing doesn't appear to have that same sort of increase in RPM at the end of the uh, RPM range. What I'm noticing with this, it's pretty consistent, pretty linear. It uh, takes off and it continues pulling. I think that's a good thing for firewood for sure. You don't uh, necessarily need that jump up in RPM, but uh, it is different. That's, that's pretty much the only thing I'm noticing at this point. Obviously the ergonomics are a little bit different on this saw, having the, uh, the high top there. My other saw is a little more sleek, I guess, probably because the CCs are smaller. It doesn't necessarily need uh, quite as much room. As uh, I compare this to my G660, which I had using uh, the winch, because I didn't cut firewood with that G660, I can't compare apples to apples. But what I can tell you is this thing is manageable. My G660, when I had that on a winch, it had so much oh. torque, it was almost unmanageable on the winch. Although it worked quite well, I wouldn't really know what it would be like cutting wood. I'm sure it would get it done in a hurry, but probably would be a little hard on the elbows carrying it around all day on a landing for the weight. This thing seems uh, seems to be a good, uh, good balance there between power and weight. So as I mentioned, long-term review coming up. We'll also get out the Husky 555. We'll run them side by side at some point down the road. But for now, I think that's a great addition here. You'll see it out here on the landing quite a bit more. If you guys have one of these, let me know down below in the comments. If uh, something happens to these long-term, you know, if they wake up a little bit or there's something I can do to make them even better, please let me know as well down in those comments. As always, guys, get outside, enjoy nature, maybe cut some wood, saw some wood, maybe even go for a walk, who knows. But get outside, enjoy yourself, and I'll see you next time.